Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 Pop-Up Builder plugin. Now this particular plugin allows the store owner to create and send unlimited pop-up notifications for the e-commerce store and the customers can view the pop-up notifications and the storefront depending upon whether the admin has set up the pop-ups on all of the pages of the website or on specific pages there. These pop-ups can be used for marketing purpose or to create awareness about new or popular products. The admin can create templates for creating different types of pop-ups and can select a particular template as per the pop-up requirement. Using this plugin, the admin can select the start and the end date for the visibility of the pop-up to the customers. Apart from that, the admin can also choose the pop-up layout that includes newsletters, offer images, yes or no, follow us, video, details video and cookie pop-ups there. So these types of uh, pop-up layouts can be chosen up for the pop-up that you're going to create. Uh, apart from that, the admin can even select the display device and the page at which the pop-up will appear, its position and a suitable entry and exit animation type for the pop-up. Moreover, the admin can view the pop-up reports based on custom interaction using the pop-up report section uh, within the respective pop-up that you have created there. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin that's the Magento 2 pop-up builder there. And we'll be checking out the workflow at the customer's end and the rest of the workflow at the admin's end as well. At the admin's end, we'll be checking out how the admin would be able to create the templates and how the templates can then be used while creating the pop-ups and how we can choose the pop-up layout as newsletters, offer images, yes, no, follow us video details video and cookie pop-up there so uh, right now the pop-up that you're seeing here is a yes or and no pop-up and uh, before i proceed further with this particular video tutorial please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so right now this particular pop-up is a yes or a no pop-up and within this you can see an image is there and uh, we have this link would you like to buy the pop-up there now uh, this particular section and the image come from the template that we have created and this section that you can see the welcome to the pop-up mo module and the description that you can see here comes from the uh, information section of the pop-up itself so uh, let me show you how this pop-up appears uh, at the storefront on the page reload so as soon as the page will come up, the particular pop-up would be displayed in a particular uh, uh, animation. As you can see, it was in the bounce in animation and we have a close button to close the uh, particular pop-up there. And here you can see that uh, would you like to buy this pop-up module? We have a close and a yes button. Uh, we have set a redirect on the yes button to redirect to the uh, product page of the particular plugin itself and here's at the top you can see the title of the pop-up that's the demo pop-up then we have welcome to webcool pop-up module de demo then with the description there there's an image and the option here would you like to buy uh, the pop-up module as the highlighted text that we have set up in the red color so if i tap here on the yes button we'll be redirected to the product page that we have set up for the pop-up builder and the customer can view the particular uh, product on the product page itself on the respective that uh, respective url that we had set up for the yes button there so let's uh, bring up the pop-up once again on the refresh there of the web page so here's the pop-up that has come up now let's hop on to the admin backend panel and let's see how these pop-ups can be created as i've told you that the pop-up layouts can be chosen as newsletter offer image yes no follow us video details video and cookie pop-up the one that we were checking out this one this is a yes or a no pop-up so let's hop on to the admin backend panel and let's see the rest of the configuration settings in the admin backend panel for that i'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the username password and tapping on the sign in button after we have signed into the uh, admin backend panel and after the successful installation of the merchant to do pop-up builder we'll have one option in the side panel that's the pop-up and under that we have two different options one is the pop-up option to create the different types of pop-ups and the pop-up template uh, the templates uh, can be created under the pop-up template and the created templates can then be used while we are creating the pop-ups there 
So let's hop on to the pop-up template first. So I'll just tap on the pop-up template to bring up the particular templates that we have already created. So here you can see that we have created two different uh, templates for now. That's the testing demo and the pop-up demo. Uh, the testing demo is disabled and the pop-up demo is enabled right now. From here we can edit any of the templates. So for example, if I tap here on the edit button, the particular uh, template would be opened up in another window there. On the edit template page, we can see the template name. That's the pop-up demo. It's enabled the description. Then we have the HTML. So here you can see that we have the image SRC, the image. And then in the strong with the color red, we have the text align center strong. Would you like to buy the pop-up module? So the same is visible here, the image of the template and the text. Would you like to buy up the pop-up module there? Then we have the CSS as well. So to create a template, what you need to do is you just need to simply set up the name, set the status as enabled, set the description, set the HTML uh, content uh, that would be visible on the pop-up uh, via the particular template itself. And you can set up the CSS for the same and then you need to tap here on the save template button, right? Now let's go back. Apart from that, you can do uh, uh, mass actions as well for the templates that you've created. You can delete, enable or disable templates as per your own requirement. And to add a new template, you can tap here on the add new template. I was just showing you the edit template. So if we go ahead and try and create a new template, you can see we have to give the name, the status has to be set up, the description of the template, the HTML content that of the template has to be set up here. That would be visible within the pop-up itself that we are going to create after this. And the CSS for the same, right? And after you've created this app, the particular template would be saved and will be visible under the pop-up template list here uh, on the particular section. So here uh, the particular uh, pop-up template would be listed. Now coming to the pop-up, let's go to the pop-up section and let's see how we can create a particular pop-up. So we have already created a, a particular pop-up that's the demo pop-up that's enabled right now. We also have a subscribe for update uh, pop-up that we have disabled for now. For any of the created pop-ups, you can delete them up or you can edit them up as per your own requirement there. So here you can see the pop-up name is demo pop-up. The same uh, was visible here at the top demo pop-up. And let me edit this one and let me show you the pop-up uh, contents there, how we can set up the pop-up. So on the edit pop-up page here, you can see that uh, we have three different sections for the pop-up information that includes the information of the pop-up, the layout of the pop-up, and the report section uh, as well that shows the number of waves for the pop-up uh, the clicks that have been made for the pop-up the average pop-up view duration as well as you can see here from uh, this particular graph that you're going to see so here you can see that the uh, average pop-up view duration in seconds is 1.1690 uh, 1, seconds there uh, around and uh, the total and uh, here we have the clicks number of clicks in the red and the number of views in the blue color as well so the very first thing that we need to set up for the particular pop-up is the information that includes the pop-up name so whatever name that you set up here would be visible on the pop-up itself at the top of the pop-up then we need to uh, enable the status of the pop-up then we need to choose the customer group whether it would be uh, eligible for the not logged in general wholesale or retailers it depends upon what different customer groups uh, that you have created all those groups would be listed here within this particular section and from here you can choose the customer group for which the particular pop-ups would be displayed there then we have the start date and the end date of the pop-up so you can uh, manage that up you can select the start date and the end date for the pop-up then you have to choose the template that would be used uh, for the content section of the pop-up there. So from the drop down, you can see the pop-up demo we had created under the particular uh, pop-up template section. The same is visible here. The other one that we had created the test template is not visible because that was disabled at that very time there. Then we have the pages. So where exactly you want to show the pop-up at, whether you don't want to show it anywhere whether you want to show it on all pages of the website or specific pages. If you go with all pages, then it's good to go. Otherwise, if you choose it as specific page, then you have to give the specific page URL uh, where the particular pop-up would be displayed to the customers when the customer accesses that particular specific page URL. 
then we have the pop-up position so here you can choose from the available one top left left bottom left top center center bottom center top right right bottom right and accordingly here you can see that we have set it as to center so that's why it's visible in the center there then we have the pop-up animation entrance whether it should be bouncing bouncing down bouncing left bouncing right bouncing up as per your own requirement for the one that we had uh, set up here if I tap here you can see it would bounce in when the pop-up uh, comes up on the page refresh or the page load there so it has bounced in right now let's go back then we have the pop-up animation exit so whenever uh, we are exiting the uh, particular pop-up what should be the pop-up animation exit type so you can choose it as per your own requirement there then we have when the pop-up should appear so we, you can choose it on the page load on scroll x percent from the top then you can give the top scroll percentage on click ma on click class ma match then you can set up the match class css on click id match then you have to give the ma match id uh, you can choose it as none or on page load as per your own requirement you can also choose to uh, set up the close pop-up when side uh, when click outside of the box so if we are out clicking outside of the box the pop-up would be closed so you can set that up as well close pop-up on escape button so if we are tapping on the escape button the pop-up would be closed there you can set up that as well so after you have set up the information for the pop-up there then you need to ne uh, navigate to the layout section under the layout section you will be able to choose the pop-up layout but before we go to the, uh, to the layout section here uh, you can see that we have the settings section so under the settings section we can set up the pop-up heading the same heading is visible here welcome to webcool pop-up module demo as you can see then we have the description with the use of this module with the use of this module right and the image and the other text that you can see here in the bold red color is coming the image and this bold red color uh, text is coming from the uh, pop-up template that we had already used uh, for this particular pop-up that we have created right then we have the background image you can also choose the background image for the pop-up there right now we have not selected anyone so there is none then we have the yes label button so here we have set the url to which uh, the customer should be redirected if he taps on the yes label button uh, then we have the cancel button as enabled so here you can see that we have the cancel button as enabled at the top right hand corner then we have the close label button and the description alignment of the text so here you can see the description is in the center and we have the close button uh, label as well that we had set as CLOSE as close close button now coming to the layout section here you can see that we can choose between newsletter offer pop-up image pop-up yes no pop-up follow up uh, follow us pop-up video pop-up detail video pop-up cookie pop-up so right now we had selected yes and no pop-up if you go with the newsletter then you have to give the pop-up heading description you have to set the subscribe button you can choose to enable the close label button if you enable it up then you can give the close label uh, close button label text then we have whether you want to have the close button as enable or not then you can set up the description of the text that you have here that you had entered within the description whether you want to align it in the left right or center for the newsletter for the offer pop-up here you can uh, choose the close uh, button color as for your own requirement there for yes or no we have already seen what we uh, have to do then we have follow us we have sort of set up the pop-up heading description background image and then you can give the facebook url twitter url instagram url linkedin youtube url uh, choose to enable the close button description alignment can be set up for the follow us pop-up so all of these uh, social network URLs would be visible there uh, on the pop-up there. Then we have video pop-up. So you can set up the video URL here. Choose to enable the close button for the pop-up there. Then we have the details video pop-up. So here you can give the video URL. Choose the label button uh, for the close button uh, URL. Uh, so that whenever the customer taps on the close button, he'll be redirected. Uh, to the particular video there and the close button title can be set up as per your own requirement there 
then we have the cookies pop-up so here as well you have to give the pop-up heading the description uh, the background image yes label uh, button URL has to be set up yes button title has to be set up close button URL has to be set up close button title has to be set up similarly we have the close button you can enable it up and you can set up the description alignment as left right or center as per your own requirement there and lastly we have the report section so here you'll be able to view uh, or you'll be able to see the reports that will help you in the conversion of your website there so you can see the total number of views clicks and the average pop-up uh, view duration there uh, using this graph and the total numeric numbers that uh, are provided here after the uh, interaction of the customers with the pop-ups there so that's how you can uh, create the pop-ups by setting up the information section that includes the information section here uh, then the layout section choosing the layout uh, for your particular pop-up how you want to appear your pop-up whether it should be of a newsletter of, uh, of a pop-up yes no follow us video details cookie pop-up as per your own requirement there and then you need to tap on the save pop-up button to save the particular pop-up so now if i go back even if uh, i am tapping here on the add new pop-up button to create a new pop-up so that was uh, actually what i was showing you an already created pop-up i was editing so if i tap on the new uh, add new pop-up button you can see that we have the add pop-up section and here we have the same section that's the information section the layout section so here you'll choose the template for example newsletter then according to newsletter you have to fill in the information according to offers yes no follow us video pop-up details video pop-up and cookie pop-up and the report is uh, not visible right now because after you have saved the pop-up and after the customers have interacted with the pop-up only after that would the reports be visible for the total number of views total number of clicks on the pop-up and the average pop-up view duration by the customers that in seconds itself right so yes that was much about the merchant to pop-up builder and i hope that it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same if you still have any questions queries sessions or requirements regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead